If they've never been to Copenhagen, people's primary association with the Danish capital might be the statue of the Little Mermaid in the harbour. But the most beautiful sight is the city itself, with its unique seaside location. This year, British lifestyle magazine Monocle and its editor-in-chief, Tyler Brulé, placed Copenhagen at number six in its ranking of the world's most livable cities. When we look at, at Copenhagen, uh, one of the things which I think has forced a bit of a stumble uh, comes back to, to connectivity, um, public transport. They've done a great job, of course. It's, is, is it the global home of the bicycle? Bike paths here are almost as wide as street lanes for cars. Copenhagen is one of the world's most bicycle-friendly cities, and cycling is part of everyday life. The city has more bicycles than residents. Every second person rides a bike to work here. Footrests at traffic lights ease the waiting. And tilted trash cans were designed specially for cyclists. Copenhagen, of course, continues to succeed because they have the bicycle miracle in the city. Uh, it is just, it's so easy to get uh, from A to B to C and on to Z uh, just by uh, going around on, on two wheels or potentially three wheels if you have, if you have children. Um, it's an incredibly walkable city. Just over half a million people live here. Copenhagen's moderate size makes it a pretty relaxed metropolis. The cityscape is characterized by architecture from the 18th century, like a Marienborg palace, the city residence of the Danish royal family. Classical residential and commercial buildings stand alongside modern constructions, like the Opera House. New influences are unmistakable in the restaurant scene, too. Copenhagen has experienced in the last five or six years such a boom from a culinary perspective. I mean, it's really recognized as probably one of the most important food cities in the world. New Nordic cuisine began in 2003 when the restaurant Noma opened here. Star chef René Redzepi prepared his dishes solely with regional ingredients. Noma was recognized as the world's best restaurant four times. Since then, Danish cooks have been combining Denmark's best culinary traditions with dishes from abroad. For example, at the Royal Smooshie Cafe, where little works of art are created on a tiny slice of bread. The smooshie are as handy to eat as sushi and are reminiscent of smurrebrød, the Danish variant of the open-faced sandwich. Smooshie are just one Copenhagen success story. What we really like about Copenhagen is startup means you're a restaurant. It means starting up your own shop. It means launching your own fashion label, doing things with your own hands. And, and that's one of the great things that you've seen. A lot of people coming back into the city uh, who are not speculating. They're not looking to build a business and then just flip it three years later uh, for some crazy valuation. They, they really want to be, be part of the urban fabric. All over the downtown area are little design shops, like Henrik Vibskoff's. After studying in London, he returned to Copenhagen and launched his own fashion label. His designs have even been displayed in museums like New York's MoMA. Copenhagen also stands for design classics like Arne Jakobsen's furniture, which is still produced today. In the hotel he designed, you can even book a night in the Arne Jakobsen suite, furnished with original pieces. The capital city of design, as Copenhagen likes to call itself, has its share of planning mistakes, of course. Monocle magazine says they're why Copenhagen only made it to sixth place on this year's list of the world's most livable cities. We've seen extraordinary growth within the city, uh, a lot of new development, but a lot of new development which is not very sympathetic to the rest of the built environment. So quite interesting buildings architecturally, but we see a lot of buildings which have no relationship to the street. Despite this criticism, residents still regard Copenhagen as Europe's most pleasant capital. There's so many people and music and so colorful, so really enjoying it. There's always um, happy people and uh, in the summertime, uh, this is a special place to be. Monocle magazine says reducing the 25% value-added tax in restaurants would be yet one more way Copenhagen could improve its already outstanding quality of life.